Namaste and welcome to this uh, very, very special broadcast this Saturday morning. Ladies and gentlemen, the NDA prevailed in the presidential polls. Who will prevail in the vice presidential polls as the polls will start in a short while from now and it will go on till about 5 p.m. this evening. The All eyes are on whether or not the Vipaksh or the opposition can come together this time around. Already there are differences of opinion and there is this entire game of one-upmanship saying... Who is the Congress to perhaps call the shots within the opposition and can the Congress take everybody on board? Have the occurrences or the instances over the last whole week where the Congress has perhaps hogged the headlines because of the Enforcement Directorate crackdown in the National Herald scam and of course the protests that have been mounted by the Congress party all across. Is there a narrative that's been set which says that the Congress is the face of the opposition and the others have to rally around, the regional satraps have to rally around? Is Jagdeep Dhankar versus uh, Margaret Alwa? The voting, like I said, will begin very, very soon and will end at 5 p.m. this evening. The NDA that emerged victorious, victorious and uh, quite thumpingly so, unanimously so, and it also showed the fissures within the opposition in the presidential polls. Now we are uh, looking at what is Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar going to get vis-a-vis -vis Mrs. Margaret Alva. Jagdeep Dhankar is expected to get two-thirds of the votes and in case of the opposition, Margaret Alva, the Trinamool Congress has remained adamant and that they will break the ranks by either boycotting the vice presidential poll or voting away from what is the opposition's choice or the Congress-driven opposition's choice. Final results will be out by 7 p.m. this evening. So let's try and understand which party stays where in this race for India's next vice president. Uh, so Venkaya Naiduji's term comes uh, to an end very soon. By then, Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar is in the race along with Margaret Alva. Jagdeep Dhankar, former uh, governor of Bengal, and both of them, very, very seasoned uh, people in public life and in politics. So the Congress party is backing Margaret Alva. The Congress, the Aam Party came out in support. The Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, the NCP. So the JMM moving away from Draupadi Murmu and towards Margaret Alva as far as the vice presidential polls are concerned. The NCP and of course CPIM, DMK, TRS and the Shiv Sena. So the Shiv Sena also had backed Draupadi Murmu. But in case of the vice presidential polls, it is swinging the other way towards Margaret Alva. But the parties that are also backing Alva, there are others too. The RLD, the National Conference, the Samajwadi Party, the RJD and the CPI. But what is their presence in the House? That's the bigger challenge. Who's got the numbers, the bulk of the numbers? BJP, Shiv Sena, that is the Shinde faction, JDU, BSP, AGP, YSRCP, AIDMK, the BJD, all backing Jagdeep Dhankar. And we've got visuals coming through, the NPP, RPI and uh, uh, RPIA and of course the PMK also backing Jagdeep Dhankar. We've got new uh, visuals coming through as Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reached Parliament. Now he was there unanimously backing uh, Jagdeep Dhankar and he was the one who filed for his nomination and filed his nomination endorsing him wholeheartedly saying it's my support even as we see parliamentarians queuing up to cast their ballot. So the voting has gotten underway. I can see GVL Narsimha Rao amongst many other MPs who are uh, waiting patiently to cast their ballot. So it's purely numbers in the House and of course which allies have got the hold between the NDA and the UPA. Maria Shakil with us, uh, even as Prime Minister Narendra Modi is reaching Parliament, Jagdeep Dhankar is expected to get two-thirds. Yes, that's right, Anand. I mean, if the numbers are to go by, given the strength that NDA has, he's expected to get over 520 vote somewhere around 527 is what the bjp's calculation is which is far far higher than 372 which is required to win altogether it could be 70 percent of the total votes perhaps two percent higher than what uh Benkaya naidu the current vice president actually received hmm. so just for the benefit of our viewers um, anand the electoral college in fact comprises of uh, mps of the lok sabha and the Rajya Sabha. so in all 780 mps are going to cast their vote from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm. Uh, and with Trinamool Congress uh, MPs abstaining, uh, the total number mm. of this house is going to come down. Uh, and that is the reason why it will be a smooth sale. But yes, uh, besides uh, the BJP, there are several you know friendly parties who have already come on board, such yes. as Jagan Mohan Reddy is vice RCP, 
you know mayawati is a bahujan samaj samaj party and others have already backed in yeah. including uh, chandra babu naidu is tdp so there were not really many surprises including akalis i think the surprise came with akali dal uh, and mr naidu's tdp backing uh, so you know somewhere around 637 pm is when we are expecting a press conference that will be done uh, the, uh, the as sure. far as uh, the entire process is concerned it is the secretary general of the lok sabha uh, who conducts this entire you know who is the returning officer of anand in terms of vice presidential election and the secretary general of the rajya sabha was the returning officer for the presidential elections so for the next few hours the parliamentarians will go to cast their vote yes and, and we've got the visuals coming through maria there. prime minister narendra modi is present there we could also see the parliamentary affairs minister present uh, mos pmo dr jitendra singh present uh, uh we all and uh, clearly all the mps have uh, started queuing up so they are all standing in queue to walk in and cast their ballot there you have see rajya sabha member pt usha is also present there in the in the in the queue